Good evening, everyone. It's uh, Thursday evening here at about 8.30. I've been working some long days here in the shop, plus doing some other small jobs around the house and the shop here, getting things ready for fall uh, and for winter. Um, focusing back in on what you guys had seen for my weekly agenda here on the Whistle Shop Facebook page. Um, wanted to show you how the valve works on this Southern Pacific six chime um, after machining the brass for it on the inside some people had some questions about how exactly it works it's a lot similar to the last video that I did where when you pull on the handle the valve opens up as you can see I have this side and all the way around to the other side here I left two sides that were still rounded that measure um, pretty close to the same as the ID of the pipe allowing that valve to have a guide so that when I open and close this it seats nicely and what I do with these valves is I go and I get um, valve grinding compound and I actually lap the valves in place you know, of course, you have to do that without the handle and stuff on here. Um, basically, when the handle's taken off, put a little bit of lapping compound around the inside chamfered area. There's a little lip right around the surface that's 45 degree angle, and the inside of the pipe was machined at a 45 degree angle. And basically, what I would do is I would just twist that back and forth quite a few times to allow the lapping compound to take effect so that should give that a nice seat once it's closed under the steam pressure. Um, the, the person that had purchased this from me also got this uh, purchased in time for our government shutdown special so we have the, um, the uh, free 4 inch 3 chime that's going with that whistle to uh, North Carolina that whistle is all set ready to go these will get packaged up tomorrow morning and hopefully on the truck either late tomorrow afternoon on Federal Express or first thing uh, Saturday whichever they pick up at the uh, location that we ship these out at um, other good news we're getting kinda of started on the 611 project which leads me over to my drill press right now uh, as you can see, I spent some part of the day today making these special vices to hold pieces of pipe onto my drill press so that I can drill holes crossways into the pipe without the pipe moving and I can go straight on through with that, that drill. That way the holes on the top and the bottom of the pipe line up. Uh, basically all these are are pieces of steel welded together in like a V block and I can cradle a piece of pipe across these and drill right down through the center. So that makes it a lot easier. It gets everything nice and neat and lined up for when I'm drilling pipe. Um, you might ask, what did I do those for? Well, if you remember the pictures of the 611 whistle, they have the built-in spring-loaded valve. I'm working on a new, new system of valves where you could purchase a spring-loaded valve separately or you can purchase a spring-loaded valve with the bowl of the whistle that you purchase and we will have to we're still in the in the process of building these so when we come to time we're gonna do an upgrade to our price list so that you have the option of what style of valve you want to use for your whistle and I'll lead you back over here to our workbench this is kind of the prototype that we're working on um, the valve body is actually this cross piece of pipe through here and it, it's it's far from being done yet so there's a there has to be a seat put in on the inside of the smaller diameter pipe the steam slots have to be uh, machined into that pipe the piece of brass stock that will be machined for the plunger that goes inside here uh, also has to be done and then the pin over on this side 
that pushes that plunger open and closed to allow the steam to come up and in, into the whistle and then the handle and the whole pivot mechanism will have to be over here on this side so there is quite a bit of work yet to be done but that's that's going to be a two inch diameter whistle valve um, the bigger whistle valves like that are a little bit easier for me to work on and make but I'm also going to try to make something in like half inch to one inch but we'll have to see this is still kind of in the, in the experimental stage right now and we need these this type of valve because if we're going to do an identical replica of the 611 whistle this is what we've got to have um, I don't think I have anything further right now as far as stuff going on in the shop, but uh, just ask that everybody, and any questions, whatever, feel free to call me, message me, or uh, text me on Facebook. So, again, I say thanks for watching, and I'll do further updates here at the shop uh, when they come in.